Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Parker Group Live. Uh, we are here on this beautiful Tuesday, still a little bit cold outside, but at least the sun is shining. Um, and we wanted to talk to you specifically about um, a question that we frequently get from buyers when they're looking for their next house. And that's, what's the first step? What should I do first? And so Rachel's going to talk to us a little bit about that, just so that you're better prepared as we get into this spring market and things are starting to heat up. So we want to make sure that you're you're ready to go when you find that dream house. Yep. Um, so most people start out by finding a realtor. So that's kind of your step A. Um, however, the first big step that you're going to take is getting pre-approved for your mortgage. Um, unless if you're a fortunate person that has enough cash to buy, you're going to want to find out um, how much you're going to be pre-approved for. And your realtor can help direct you to good local lenders um, that are experts in the field and that can get this done quickly for you. A lot of people are fearful about getting a pre-approval because they're worried that it's going to affect their credit negatively or they think it's a really long and involved process. However, it has a very small impact on your credit score and it is really just a mandatory step that you need to take in the process. It's very quick. Most lenders can get it done within a day or two um, and they don't need a ton of information most of the time um, to get that pre-qualification to you. So the reasons why you want to do this first, number one, you want to have a budget in mind when you're searching for homes. So if you just start going on realtor.com and Zillow and all the sites where you can find houses and start falling in love with homes or going to look at homes, you don't want to find something that's outside of your price range. Because what we see happen sometimes is people shop around a little bit, they find a home that they think is just perfect, and then they get pre-approved and find out that they can't afford that property. And that is really heartbreaking when you're already at the point that you think that's the house for your family. So you, you want to know that in advance. And on the flip side, you might um, be wasting time thinking that your budget is lower than what it is, and you actually have the option to purchase something a little bit higher than, um, than what you had anticipated initially. So it's just really good to have a solid budget in mind before you start the home shopping process. Additionally, when you do find that dream home, even if it is in your price range, your offer is going to be considered quite a bit stronger when it includes a pre-approval letter. And it's great to already have that set up in advance and have the steps in line because the spring market does get quite competitive. So you don't want to wait until you found that dream home to go through the process, delay getting your offer in, and potentially lose it to another buyer. And not all pre-approvals are necessarily the same either. That's why it's really important to have, um, work with your realtor to select the local bank that can qualify you well um, and a bank that has a reputation for closing loans because um, especially with some changes in FHA and some different things that are going on in lending right now, it's really important to be working with a, a top of the line lender to make sure that after you're under contract um, that you can move forward through that process without any glitches. Absolutely. Yeah, great tip there. Um, so I hope this is helpful. If you're thinking about buying your first house or maybe your third house, whatever it is, and you need some tips about a great lender to work with, reach out to us or anyone on our team. We'd be happy to connect you and get you started on your home buying process. Thanks so much. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.